Hello, my name is Jim. Welcome to my booktube channel about books and reading and stuff. In this video I want to talk about Billy Connolly's book Tall Tales and Wee Stories. I finished this on Sunday. Billy Connolly, if you don't know Billy Connolly, is a very funny stand-up comedian. He's from Scotland, he's from Glasgow, he worked in the shipyards. I'm a great fan of the comedian Billy Connolly, but I'm not a great fan of this book. This book has a lot of the material he uses in his sets, but reading it on the page is very different to seeing it live. In my opinion, the best way to experience comedy is to see it live on stage in a comedy club of about 100 to 300 people. When you're reading the book, you get the stories, you get his absurd humour, but you don't get his delivery, you don't get the reaction of the audience, you don't get the comedian's reaction to the audience's reaction. So a lot is missing just reading it off the page. You can see Billy Connolly on YouTube. There's lots of videos of his set on YouTube. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see him live on stage anymore. He retired at the end of 2018 from stand-up because he has Parkinson's disease. He's in his late 70s and he felt he could no longer remember his material. I can give you some samples of the material in here. There's lots of little stories, some are a couple of pages, some are five or six pages. Here he's talking about a Chinese tattooist. They got talking about their favourite tattoos and the Chinese guy told him about his friend in the 1950s who had tattooed this Scottish guy. He was a soldier and on his back he wanted Scotland forever and a big thistle. So he tells the guy, I want Scotland forever, ah, and a big thistle, right? Ah, thistle, thistle, big thistle. Do you know what thistle is? Ooh, thistle, yes. <whistles> no, no, no. That's a whistle. I mean thistle. It's the national flower of Scotland. It's a jagged fucker. It's purple and green. It's very nice. A thistle. Oh, thistle. Look, here. I've got a piece of paper. I'll scribble it down for you. Here. He draws his best impression of a thistle and he hands it back to the man. Oh, thistle, ah, ah. So he sits down. Five hours. Somewhere, my tattoo guy says, there's a guy walking around the earth with Scotland forever on his shoulders and a big pineapple. He must be one of the Hawaiian McDonald's. Obviously, Billy Connolly would have told it far better than I just did. I like this. This is about stupid questions. We often say things to each other that don't make any real sense. The first stupid question that your mother asks you is, where did you lose it? That's the most stupid question in the history of the human race. Where did you lose it? Uh, I don't know. It's lost. That means I don't know where it is. But where? I don't know. Another one you often hear when you'll be talking to people and they'll say, can you tell me in your own words what happened? What do you think? I've got my own words? What would I want with my own words? When would I talk? Who would I talk to? The next time someone says, tell me in your own words, try this. And when you're in a film, People sitting there say, did you see that? Of course I didn't. I paid 10 quid to look at the bloody floor. Then there's always a, f a fool who says, it's always the last place you look. Of course it is. Why the fuck would you keep looking after you found it? I gave this book just three out of five. Whilst I'm a great fan of Billy Connolly, the, the words, it doesn't work when you're just reading it. It's better to go and see it live. Unfortunately, we can't do that now, but we can watch Billy Connolly on YouTube and we can see it with our friends and they can laugh too and we can laugh with them. 
Uh, this is an earlier book I read by Billy Connolly. This is much better, but it's not about his stand-up set. This is Journey to the Edge of the World. This was his trip around the north of Canada in the wilderness areas where he met the Inuit. He met, he saw the wilderness. This was very good. Okay, that was my brief review of Billy Connolly's tall stories, tall tales and wee stories. If you like this video you can like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.